We better make dinner first, just in case. What are you, what are you doing in there? What, what are you doing? I see gets in there by herself, for anyone wondering. Yeah, you do. You get in that stuff by yourself, don't you? you. Grub time. I've got these three transformers from my last video. If you didn't see my last video, link it up right down here in the description. What I've done is I cut all the insulated wire off of them so it doesn't burn. Because burning insulated copper wire is illegal and we don't want to do that. Although I did leave some little nubbins right there because I want to see if this is going to be hot enough to catch those on fire or melt them. I just want to see what happens. And if something starts to burn, I can just take it off. So all we've got is the steel, the copper wire, and all three of these are pure copper. No aluminum at all. And then the paper, the tape, tape paper stuff. And that should just be, I don't think that would be illegal if that caught on fire. That just looks to be a paper. There might be some kind of glue on it. So I want to leave some of it on here to see what happens. I'll leave some, a little bit on there. So we've got those transformers. We got fire. We got ice. I've never tried this before. And no matter the results, I'm gonna show this what happens. We might have to give it a couple runs. I don't know if my oven's gonna get hot enough to produce what we want to happen. I'm gonna put the uh, one with the wires right there. We'll keep an eye on that one. Put them close to each other. Maybe they'll heat each other up a little bit. The idea here is to make this these metal plates because these are all thin little plates. A bunch of thin little plates make up that big piece of steel. The idea is to make them hot so that metal will expand and those plates will pop away from each other. And we take them out of the oven and flop them into a bucket of super cold ice water. And this is actually one of my pans I cook with. <laughs> so I filled the bottom up with ice to protect my pan and it's also going to make the water super cold. And we're going to get the water as cold as we possibly can. We've got lots of other ice and stuff we've got sitting in here. Super cold bottle of water. So hopefully when we've got super hot stuff we flop it in that ice cold water it should make it cool so fast that those plates will just all pop apart and that copper should just fall out of there problem is I don't know if my oven's gonna get hot enough broil should be about 600 degrees I don't know if that's gonna be enough to do the trick but we're gonna find out we don't want anything to catch fire or start burning because that would make it illegal it's highly illegal to burn this kind of stuff. Insulated copper wire. I don't think we've got anything that would be considered illegal in there. And hopefully that paper doesn't catch on fire. I'm also going to hit it with the broil heater element up there too. Starting at 951. 952. Keeping an eye on them. It's not burning whatsoever, the little pieces of insulated wire I left on there. So that's really good. Keeping a close eye on them. The little nubs of insulated wire I left on there are not melting or burning. That paper's not going even close to burning. 20 minutes. What I'll probably have to do is, is turn them on edge so that the edges of the plates are exposed to the, to the 600 degree heat and not just the tops and bottoms. Maybe. 40 minutes. 41 minutes. Little nubs of insulated wire I left on there starting to burn, and you definitely don't want to do that. So I'm gonna get that out of there. Look at that. Actually, it wasn't the little nubs of wire. They're protected by that tape, that papery tape, and that's actually what started burning was that papery tape, and it definitely had a toxic smell to it. So you want to, definitely don't want to leave that on there. I got almost all of it off these other two though. I had left that on there intentionally, just as an experiment to see what would happen. And now we know, got to get that off. I 
It doesn't get much colder than that. That sucker was pretty hot, I can tell you that. My sucker's still boiling. Hear that? Look at that ice melting. Man, I think it was hot. I didn't think it was that hot. I wonder if that did the trick. Hour and a half. This one was on edge and it sounds kind of angry. I think you can see down in there. Last one. Hot potato coming through. Very cool though. That ice is just melting so fast. Hi! Well, that water is warm. Really warm. <laughs> like bath water warm. That's amazing. It's so warm you can see steam coming off of it. So in conclusion, total fail. The main reason I wanted to do this was to see if there was a legal way to do it at a lower temperature where the insulated copper wire wouldn't burn. And it turns out that tape is actually toxic and illegal as well to burn. And you definitely don't want to breathe that stuff. This is something that you don't ever want to do in your oven. <laughs> Although, the exterior plates did get hot enough to where they did come loose. And I mean, for those of you that don't know, these plates aren't all one big plate. They're, they're pieces. See, like, you see how it's about to come off right there? They're little pieces. Like that, and it, in theory, you get it hot enough, it just crump, you just fall apart like butter. But uh, definitely, definitely, the outer ones came loose. There's a little separation here in the center, there as well. So you can see that at a much, a much, much, much higher temperature, this would just fall apart. At a higher temperature, that tape would definitely burn. It'd be extremely toxic and dangerous to your health. And it, not to mention illegal. You could get fined and go to jail doing that kind of stuff. So I don't want to give anyone the wrong idea. I was just doing a little experiment here. A lot of the modern transformers these days are going to be aluminum wire sometimes it'll be copper and aluminum a lot of the modern ones aren't even worth messing with to begin with anyway this was just for entertainment and 
educational and informational and all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.